Well, hello loves. Happy Sunday to you. So glad that you are here. What a great page we are creating today in my journal. So let's take a look and talk about the supplies. So here's what we're creating today. Oh, I wish that you could see the text. It's just, it's so good. So, so good. Okay focus on. So um, I started the background by putting down some papers. It's the handwriting uh, papers <clears throat> that are, it's a collage pack and I'll, that'll be on sale this week. Started with that, put those down, then did some gesso over it. And I just used my regular gesso. And the inspiration is what really guided me through this page and all the different things. Um, new stories are waiting to be woven. And so I used <clears throat> the Scribble Lines uh, stencil. I think that's what it's called. <sighs> anyway, because it reminded me of we a weaving. And so that's where I started. I didn't really even know what I was going to be doing. I just knew that this spoke to me and I'll share more about that at the end of the video. Um, so uh, papers down with matte gel. Then I used gesso uh, to create, to kind of cover over those papers and then create this texture. I stenciled through it with a palette knife and um, Oh, how yummy it is. <laughs> um, then I came back with some uh, transparent raw umber acrylic ink and kind of did a wash over that real softly. Um, and then from there, I added my flowers. And I explain why I, I added the flowers. <clears throat> Even though you can't really see them, they're there. Everything is there, even the papers, because you can barely see the writing in, but there, it's there, I'm telling you, it's there, and it shows up in all the right spots, and again, it's part of the journey. Um, you can never plan out a piece exactly how it's supposed to go, and you never want to construct your your piece and keep it from going in the direction you want just to save the background paper, so... <clears throat> I used this uh, bunch of flowers stencil to kind of create my flowers, and I used um, rose matter and red ochre. This is Soho paint. Um, it's very comparable to like a Liquitex basics kind of paint. Um, I just this is from Jerry's Artorama, um, and all the supplies will be listed on the blog, and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. Okay flowers. Then I kind of went back over those flowers and softened them down and used more gesso. I mean, I had a very, very limited palette. So this is how I used a tiny bit of that rose matter and red ochre. And then I have my green and I have my browns and my blacks and that's, and some gray. Um, and that gray is kind of in that background, that first initial layer background, I think. Um, so once I really kind of got the background down to where I wanted it, um, kind of pushing those flowers back and really kind of bringing out that acrylic ink, settling in all of the texture, so good. Then uh, let that dry and I put my burlap down and this is just some scrap burlap that I have. Um, again, to go along with my story to go along with the, the inspiration and all these bits. Oh, so good. <clears throat> Just so good. Put all of that down with my matte gel. Came back over it with a palette knife and gesso. And then stenciled on my leaf pattern. There it is. Leaf pattern. And then added to it, of course, some vines because just that one leaf pattern, I'm like, oh, it needs more. And I tried a couple of things. I started out with my charcoal pencil um, to add to my leaf pattern. And there's just so much texture that it just wasn't, <clears throat> wasn't going to work. Then I went to my Stabilo All pencil, which worked better. Then I went to some acrylic ink and my dip pen. And that was fantastic. And then on the areas that it didn't have quite as much texture, I could come back in with my charcoal pencil and, um, you know, do the additional 
goodness. Um, then I added a few more additional papers. The green is, um, it's a Blick matte acrylic. It's dark green and then I added gesso to it to, I mean, look at how pretty this is. It's like an emerald green. And then when you add a little bit of gesso to it, oh, so good. Um, and that, that. Put these extra papers down, added my shading with my charcoal, with a combination of charcoal pencil, Stabilo all pencil, um, and then my soft pastel for around the edges. I printed out my quote, put it down with matte gel. All the rest of the papers are just scraps that I had in my stash next to my table. Um, did some splatters with my acrylic ink. And um, that is it. That is, I'm just trying to make sure. I always check my palette, but super simple palette. Oh, I used gray, um, gray and black. So the gray is um, Arte Arteza's just neutral gray. Here it is. So Arteza's neutral gray and um, some Liquitex base, Basics Black. So those are your supplies for today's Sunday Inspiration. I hope you enjoy the project. I sure did. The layers are fantastic. And um, I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end because it's always good um, to just be sh to share together and be vulnerable. And I get to share with you my inspiration and the story behind it. And so I hope you stick around for that. All of the supplies will be um, linked down below. Um, it'll send you to the blog where you can get see all the pictures, the details, the collage packs, all that kind of stuff. It'll be there. Um, I think that's it for now. <laughs> all right, my friends, let's get started.
Well, hello, loves. Um, happy Sunday. Uh, what a great project. Mm, it was so good. Um, but I've got just a couple things left to do, and we will finish her up. So down here on my table, um, <clears throat> I started shading my edges. I put my words down with my matte gel, and it's a little damp still, but I'm going to kind of come in and maybe do... There's so much texture on here. It's so yummy good. But I want to just kind of create a couple little lines here to draw the eye here to my quote. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll probably do a little bit more shading around that once it dries. Um, but just got my soft pastel around the edges and um, she is beautiful. Um, th it took a little longer this time around because typically I start start do start to finish. And um, I wasn't able to do that this time because, uh, you know, sometimes life happens and it just didn't go the way I wanted it. Um, so but that's okay. Um, I'm going to stop fussing with it. I, I, I thought about doing um, another s piece of paper up here, but I, I didn't want it to get too busy. I really liked it. I liked the meaning of it. Um, so... Yeah, I, I just want to kind of... Oh, that looks good. I got soft pastel on my fingers and that, that looks good. I like that. Um, but so many layers on this. It's so crunchy, grungy, textural, yummy, good. I just love it, love it. Um, so, the... There, like I did, I went over all the supplies at the beginning, and the layers on here, the texture, the the process of this page was just the continual telling of the inspiration and of my story and how it all kind of came together. And um, this fabulous green that I found it on my shelf. I haven't used it, and I wanted to kind of lighten it down. Um, like on my palette over here, but I thought really that green, it was just so stunning. So I did a combination of both of those um, and that vine representing growth um, and um, growth in my story. And um, of course, new stories are waiting to be woven. Well, the from the very beginning, the stencil that I used, um, let me pull those out wherever, I don't even know what I did for them. <laughs> uh, this one kind of reminded me of a weaving. Um, so I, that's where I started. Um, I got this quote, and I'll talk about it in a minute. I got this quote, and it would just so spoke to me. Um, and then the, the burlap and the little bits that come off of the ends and then kind of weaving it together over here just kind of spoke to this quote. And then all of the, ephem like these initial ephemeras here are kind of travelish or game-like or that kind of thing. And um, that's my stories that are being woven together. Um, and so all of that represented something. And oh, and then the flowers too um, that I, and I did over here. I wanted that bit of pink in the background just for some softness because that's my word for the year. And so in this story of, in this weaving of my stories, part of that is that softness. And so those flowers in the background, even though you, you barely see them now, every single bit um, leads us to the next spot of where we're going to take our page or our piece. And if we continue to tell our story of whatever inspiration we're using, it will take us on this journey. It's therapeutic. It's so many things for us. And um, it will help us know what the next layer should be. It tells us um, it tells our story on the page, but it also tells us where to go as we create. So uh, the texture and the, the goodness on here is just fantastic. All right, so um, this week, um, 
couple of things are happening. Uh, Fabulous Funky Flowers, my newest workshop, is out and happening, and early bird pricing will still be happening when you see this video. Um, the other thing that's happening too is Mixed Media Art Summit, which I'm a teacher in. Um, they're still taking signups for that. I'll have all the links of that down below. And then the stencils that I use today will be on sale. And I think that is it for things that I need to tell you. So, inspiration for this piece. Um, again, I'm going back to, and you'll probably have, you'll probably see me refer to this book a couple of times before I set it aside for a while. But you know, when you get it something new, it's, it's just so refreshing to get new words. But um, this is Morgan Harper Nichols' uh, book all along you are blooming and she's got a new book coming out that I'll be getting soon <laughs> um, but again I flip the page to the next page to just read something new for the day and look at that's where I that's why I got this out I was like wait wait a second um, but it says go in search of more when you are unraveling in several threads. So, um, as I have shared, I have been, I have felt like I've been unraveling. There's been a lot of things that have happened. And we can just talk about the last two years, but even just recently. Um, so go in search of more. When you're unraveling into several threads, new stories are waiting to be woven. And it stopped me. Because sometimes we get caught in the um, unraveling and we forget about what this story will weave for us. And um, so new stories are waiting to be wo woven and you can hope for new beginnings. This doesn't mean your journey will be easy, but moving forward is an act of faith. Not getting stuck in the unraveling. Finding the, the weaving, finding the new beginning, moving forward is an act of faith, step by step. Even when you cannot imagine the tapestry on the other side of this. You guys... Uh, I, I mean, I could dissect this and go deeper into it. Like, I've looked up words. It's just how I am. But so often, I know for me, I get stuck in the unraveling. I get stuck in the unfortunate. I get stuck in the grief. I get stuck in the anger or the whatever, unforgiveness, whatever it might be. There, it, You might have another word. But I get stuck in that and I forget for a moment what this story, what is happening to me right now, where that takes me. And I know this because it's happened over and over and over again in my life. In every hard place that I've ever been in, any time I want to change, any time I move in a direction, even if it's my own choice, it's hard. It's super, super hard. And we get, I get, can get stuck there. And um, I forget that new stories are being woven in my life, in my heart, in my soul, in the people around me. New stories are being woven. And new beginnings, we can look for new beginnings in the things, in the hard, in the good, in the change, in the in all of that. We can look for the new beginnings. And then this doesn't mean your journey is going to be easy because it's never easy. Never. When we're in the middle of grief or when we're um, troubled by something or when whatever it is, even if we choose it ourselves to change, it's hard so hard. Um, but um, this won't mean your journey is easy, but moving forward is an act of faith. It means we're going to move forward because we know there's a new 
beginning because we know that there is a new weaving happening, that there's going to be a beautiful tapestry on the other side of all of this. It's an act of faith. It's hope to know that what's happening right now, where we are, however hard it is, whatever change we want to have happen, whatever it is, um, it won't be this way forever. The hard won't be this way forever. As long as we move forward in faith, an act of faith, knowing that in our heart of hearts that we are going to do the work to break through, to heal, to let go, to forgive, to appreciate ourselves, to appreciate others. We're going to do all of that work. There's a lot in there. A lot. But that work takes us to the new beginning. And that work is that weaving. That work that we do in the, the stuff, the everyday, moving forward in faith, that work is the weaving. And it is an, it'll be a new story and a beautiful new tapestry in your life. I know this to be true because it's happened to me over and over and over. So <clears throat> I read that and I was like, uh, yep, perfect reminder. And so that's why I brought that to this page because right now I'm weaving a tapestry for myself. I'm making changes for myself. I'm letting go of some things. I'm, I'm forgiving. I'm taking what has happened and using it um, and moving forward in faith. Because right now it's hard and right now it doesn't feel great. And yet I know that the best lessons I've ever learned and <clears throat> the most courage I've ever gained, the most confidence I've ever acquired has always been in these times. So friend, my love, keep moving forward in faith. Take your time to do the work. Take your time to rest and heal and ask questions and read and search out new truths. <sighs> Ask for forgiveness, whatever it is, wherever you are. Take the time to do that work and do the weaving of new beginnings. Because it's so, <clears throat> so worth it. Um, so worth it over and over and over again in my life. So that's my, my inspiration and hopefully it inspires you where you're at right now. So good. Um, all right, my loves. I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. I hope that you <clears throat> can see that the weaving is happening. You can see that, or even if you can't, I hope that you take one step forward to where you want to go, or you take that one step to rest, or that one step to heal, or that one step to forgive. Because there's a new beginning on the other side. I hope that for you this Sunday. Hope it's restful, peaceful, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved. Mm -hmm.